one discovery route where all roads lead to sunset savor the central coast join me for a weekend jam-packed with food drink art and music no doubt the santa margarita ranch is gonna be rocking this is sunset savor the central coast let's get the behind the scenes scoop from sunset wine editor sarah schneider what is it that you love most about our area each little part of it does a certain kind of wine better than almost anybody else in this country. You can't go wrong. There's not bad wine here. Every wine is as interesting as the next. So that's great advice from Sarah. We are gonna spend the day here, walking around, tasting wine, eating, and you know, it's not too bad of a life here. Sunset, Savor the Central Coast. Good work. Thank you. From wine to beer to distilled spirits, fantastic. I think I'm finally ready for some food. Let's hear from some of the celebrity chefs. I buy from farmers who farm up here, and I, you know, I love the products. We're so blessed to live in a place where the food is so spectacular, not to mention the wine and the spirits, and even the now small breweries make, you know, brewing <laughs> from cider to beer to everything. We love the Central Coast. We always love being in front of our audience and actually interacting with them. I got to say hello to most of the people that came to our booth today. You can come and actually meet the chefs and learn how to make, well, not that we're going to make it like you, but we'll attempt, right? Yeah, yeah you'll, you'll give it a shot. We've, we drove all the way up here because uh, one of the draws of this was the adventure tours, and the adventure tours uh, paired us up with Halter Ranch. To drive all the way to the top of the mountain, it's a it's just a great view, amazing property. One of the greatest parts of Savor is the adventure tours happening all up and down the Discovery Route. We were lucky to get invited to one of Cambria's most popular adventures, the Cavell Clydesdales. Let's see what owner Ralph Cavell has to say. You know what the people tell us? We want to see the Clydesdale horses. They love the horses. That's true. You can have an experience here with Clydesdale horses living in two herds like wild horses that you cannot have anywhere else in the United States. I've been to Scotland. You can't have the experience that you have here in Scotland either, and that's where these horses come from. So It's amazing, and I, so we're going to continue to go around and enjoy this tour for Sunset Savor the Central Coast with the Clydesdales in the feeding, and we're going to go feed ourselves too a little bit and enjoy the beautiful view right from the hilltop. So and We might even have a glass of wine. Oh, okay. <laughs> we can do that. All right. So up we go to the top of the property for an incredible lunch courtesy of Lynn's Farm and Restaurant. Just a nice day to be out here as usual on the Central Coast. I mean, you can't beat it. I've been all over the world, and, and where we live happens to be one of my favorites. All right, so we're going to giddy up on out of here, head on over to the cocktail shootout at Paso Robles Inn. The distilled beverage movement is coming on strong here on the Central Coast. To be completely honest, I don't know exactly what it is. I mean, grapes that turn into vodka and gin? Let's talk to Alex Villacana to see how it all works. So there is a lot of talk in this town about distilled spirits. Tell us, what is that? Yeah, no, it's been taking off. We started our distillery in 2011. And just like the wineries in the 70s and the breweries in the 80s and 90s started this craft movement, uh, the distilleries are now hopping on board and you're starting to see small people like myself start small craft distilleries to focus on high quality spirits. These distilled beverages are incredible. The flavor is delicious, and the mixologist's potent concoctions have brought together the very best flavors of the Central Coast. The competition was fierce. Let's see what the winner has to say. Congratulations, Matthew Hansen, Fish Gaucho winner, first annual. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah. and tell me, what is this concoction that you won for? Okay, so this is called the Highwaymen. Um, I named it the Highwaymen because we've got a, in Paso Robles, we've got a you know a rich history of cowboy, gentlemen cowboy robbers, um, including the people that founded this town. All right, this so. is what it looks like. I'm lucky enough to get to taste it here. Cheers to Cheers. you. I see why you won. Well, thank you. Well, Jane, congratulations, and uh, I guess we'll see him in the future, Fish Gaucho. Yeah. All right, there's still more to discover at the main event. Let's talk to Sunset Food Editor, Margot True. There is so much food going on here at this event. Where do we go? Where do we begin? 
Well, you know, I'm a fan of the wander and taste approach. I really am. And there's so much great food here that you basically do have to wander and see what catches your fancy. This event is really a who's who in the world of cooking with one incredible talent after another. And we're gonna head on over to Moonshiner Collective, who is hitting the stage right now. But they're giving us a couple of moments. We love you guys. Me too. So, okay, I have to start with, because everybody knows I'm from Cayucas, and what, this all started in a yurt high above Cayucas. It's, it's one of the coolest spots on the Central Coast. It's a luxury yurt. It's, yeah. It totally yeah. is. Yeah. I it's mean, a it, fancy spot. It is. Yeah. So we jam in the middle of the night, be a, you know, full moon, you know, just jamming by the light of the moon, and so Moonshine or Collective is kind of like a double meaning kind of a thing, yeah. but it was kind of intended like, you know, making music instead of booze, you know, out, out, <laughs> the, out of the yurt property. Well, I'm telling you, you guys are going places, and I know the crowd is waiting for you, so I won't keep you any longer. Thank you so much Thank for you. Thanks for having us. And that does it from this year's Sunset Savor the Central Coast. See you next year.